And we're back. What were we doing? Searching um, the town. I think there were pigs involved. There were pigs? Oh yeah, we'd have the apple story, we're going around town. We were looking for Rubens, maybe? Ah, yes. Good old Rubens. Good old Rubens. Hopefully she's not angry about the fact that we called her family of circus people freaks. And offhand crims. And oh yeah, she didn't hear that. She didn't hear that, but... Word gets around Saxton, Mr. Danvers. Hatton just calls her up. <laughs> Did you hear what Mr. Danvers has to say about your friends? Push him off a cliff. Oh, hey, we're at the beach, that's nice. Okay. Okay, let's head back to the house. Yeah. Oh, wait, we have a list. Um, let's try, like, two things. We have the food, and we have pigs which want to eat the food. Okay. So let's try, like, that as well. But let's also check around the house, because we're expecting mail, packages, etc. Mm, yeah, we're expecting Hadden's package, but we've already got a letter. Oh! oh. Ah. Hidden away, aren't you? She's got a skateboard, a cup of coffee. Ooh, what you reading? Newspaper? Yeah, I just noticed that. It's kind of cool. <gasps> That's litter! For shame! <laughs> <laughs> Reporter! <laughs> Forget the missing cats. This is littering. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Where did you spring from? Right here. I'm staying in the cottage. Harbour cottage? Well, yes. Why? What's wrong? You tell me. Everything okay in there, is it? Well, it's got no power. Refrigerator, TV, Wi-Fi. That's not what I meant. That place has... Corpses. A reputation. A bad one. You didn't strike me as the superstitious kind, Miss Rubens. Oh, look, forget last night. I was tired and cold. Call me Lucy. Okay then, I think we're off to a much better start this time. Yeah. And in all fairness, I think she, I think you reacted appropriately to the way Danvers was talking to you. <clears throat> yeah, he was being uh, tactless, perhaps. Oh dear, are the freaks coming to town? Yeah, seriously, Danvers. <laughs> no need to apologise for anyone. What's the deal with Harbour Cottage? I'm not sure. We've always been told to stay away. Haunted, perhaps? Oh, no. Please don't tell me you're a believer. In ghosts? Well, I've seen a few things. You know, unexplainable. Unexplainable. Yes. That's one word for it. Are you okay? Yes. It's just that place. I had a bad experience in there, as a child. Want to talk about it? No, it was silly stuff. Childhood fears, insecurities, monsters. So, you're afraid of this place, and that's why you're leaning on it, reading the newspaper. This is outside our house, isn't it? I'm not really sure what she's reading. It could be anything. It looks kind of like a binder, and there's a picture in there. It's her file on us. <laughs> yes, that's Danvers in the photograph. <laughs> oh, no, it could be psychology notes. Anyway, let's uh, go down the tree of conversation. It's freezing out here. Can't you feel it? Bad night? Late night? Too much local ale? Bad dreams. A vision of a room. That place will do your head in. You need to get out and about. Any suggestions? Ooh, Saxton's the tourist capital of the universe. The sea air might clear your head. Or you could try the caverns. Caverns? Yeah, just head towards the back of the beach. Watch out for Hardacre, though. I saw him heading that way. With his treasure hunting stuff. Sorry, I mean... Archaeology equipment. Plot! <gasps> we found it! So no wonder he wants us away. He's our competitor for the treasure. A nemesis. Excellent. And he's a professor. Yay! <laughs> Crush him. <laughs> what do you know of the town's people? Not a lot, but I'll help if I can. Escape the zombie horde of villagers. Yes. Professor Hardacre's a strange one. Ha! <laughs> I know! Every year he turns up, looking for treasure. Always digging, always hunting. Sad, really. Why sad? He has nothing else to do, and no one else. He's devoted to his quest. What does he do the rest of the year? Hmm... Ooh, ask her about the lady. Ooh, okay. What about the pub landlady? Morgan? Bold as horsebrush she is, and just as tacky. You don't get on? No, she was a bully at school. 
Once a bully, always a bully. Is that your professional analysis? Ha! I've got better minds to study than Morgan Mankles. How are you the same age? That's like, just no. Not at all. Hmm, once a bully, always a bully seems to be a phrase which shows a willful disregard for the potential for discontinuity in the development of aggressive behaviour in early years. And... <laughs> Indeed! <laughs> Nevertheless, she is <laughs> mostly correct. Sorry, what am I doing? Um, I don't know. You kind of got lost in that there. <laughs> oh dear. The old woman with the dog. Nanny Noah. Oh, she's a sweet old thing. I met her last night by the water's edge. She seemed... Distant? Yes, she gets like that. There's a tragedy in that woman's past. The signs are there. She seems very lonely. Yes, there was something between her and Bob Tawney, but, well, it's all palm reading, herbal teas, and magic with her now. Oh, a bit new age, is she? Well, I never. Obviously, I have nothing but disdain for this woman. Obviously, ghost hunting is much more of a finer profession. Yes, paranormal experimentation. Far more reputable than all your new age stuff. <laughs> That's where the, the woman with the Lanny Noah, she's like the oracle. She's just predicting everything and just watching us go towards our imminent death. Oh dear. Let's talk about something else. Okay, what do you want to know? Hmm... You must live your eyes the only one we got. I know, it's a little creepy because that one's like dot dot dot. You must live nearby. What? Uh, you uh. must live nearby. That's right, we live by the harbour. We? Me, mum, dad, you know, the usual. Uh huh. So you all. Don't bring it up, don't affair. bring it up! <laughs> You'd hope, but mum likes long afternoons with the gin bottle, whereas dad prefers to flirt with the horses at the track. But each May, the fair does happen in this town, so it's not all bad. I'm a bit worried about her dad. Oh. You're not meant to flirt with the horses. Oh well, each to his own. Maybe he thinks he'll win more money at the track if he flirts with the horse. <laughs> <laughs> He's just bribing them. Catch you later. Without doubt. Well, this was a fruitful conversation. Oh, that went fairly well. Probably have to find heartache. And she's gone! She's Good Lord! Oh, I get it. Oh, they they haven't edited her in. She's got a disappearing act with the circus, clearly. It's taking quite a while to eat that uh, fish, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Hmm. There's a new fish, maybe, every day. I'm still caught up on these pigs. They, like, literally told us, like, hmm, you're going to want my lunch. And then it's just like, oh, surprise. Maybe we got the time of day wrong or something. How does time pass? Pigs are very specific about their meals, and I don't know, maybe you have to unbuy a watch somewhere. Am I even going the right way? I don't think so, actually. You sure? Um, oh, no, there's two branches, isn't there? Coast path. Oh, hello again. Hello. He probably hasn't got anything to say. Oh, here we go. Kind of want to go listen to Green Sleeves on his phone as he tells us to buzz off again. <laughs> here we are. Hey there. Hey, can see flies. Click on him and see what it says first. Kieran, eh? I guess you'll be wanting my lunch. Kieran? Kieran? How do you know its name? Seriously. <laughs> An excellent point. Yep, use it on the pig. That's not right. Why? That makes no sense. Though. It's vegetarian. Give it the veggie samosa. That's not right. That's bizarre. Uh, I don't understand. Why do we have food if not to give to the pig? Can we use it on damners? That's definitely not right. Do we trade it with Hardacre for the treasure? I don't <gasps> understand. That's not right. Professor Hardacre, you forgot your packed lunch. Hand over the gold. It's just That's opening his right. mouth over and over again. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that's fascinating, but... Oh, well, I guess there's nothing we can really do there. Nope. Shall we go find Hardacre? Yes, or... I will take your suggestion and find him. He's in the caverns. Mm. Hopefully we can find that cavern we couldn't find, or couldn't go through. Mm, yeah. Well, we still need a torch or something, right? Maybe Hardacre's got one. 
you get on the nearest train and go back. You've got to buy one in London. <laughs> and then don't return. So all that stuff he was saying about treasure hunting being nonsense was just to get rid of us. Possibly. He's very serious about this. Creepy fellow. Okay, maybe he's in there. Nothing ventured. <gasps> Someone be oh, I thought that was... That's not blood on the floor, is it? No, that just looks like general... Uh, Sea junk. Hey, it's our buddy Hardacre. What are you doing in my secret fort? Hardacre? Professor, so this is where you hide yourself? With the crabs and the fish heads? Is there something you want, Danvers? Don't judge me! <laughs> this is all I have left. Is the treasure hidden amongst these rocks? If you look close enough, you can see the signs. <laughs> oh, like this here. It looks like just a fossil. I'm standing much further away than Danvers, according to this perspective, and I can clearly see uh, the signs. It's kind of pointing up, maybe? Hmm, well, it just looks like one of those like, shell fossils. Uh, about our meeting last night on the harbour wall. Meeting? I didn't meet you, Danvers. We did meet last night. Get lost, Danvers. I've got proper work to do. Very cloak and dagger. Ah, competition between the fields. <laughs> Archaeology versus whatever uh, Danvers yeah, is. Whatever. <laughs> ghost hunting? I guess he's a ghost hunter now. I guess. Although he shows absolutely no reaction to seeing ghosts and turning into teacups and... Well, anything, really. Uh, what the hell's the lost Anglo-Saxon crown? I think we were meant to read about it somewhere. Well, this is the thing. I f either there's, like, this stuff we were meant to do, or all the characters secretly know everything about each other, and they're just messing with everyone. Messing with us, more like. <laughs> well, Danvers at the same time, like, knew the pig's name. I guess that was the only person, like, that Danvers bothered to research before heading into Saxton. It's got this pig called Karen. All the info I need. Onwards. <laughs> <laughs>